The panic more came in after we knew how serious it actually was and what could have happened if we'd have been 10, 15 minutes later. So that's when as a parent, you really start to go, wow, that was really close. Here at the Australian Reptile Park, we are the only place worldwide that actually milks funnel web spiders for the raw venom that they use to make antivenom. And this week, we got to meet one of the survivors. So we heard about Ollie's spider bite story with the funnel web, and we thought we got to get him into the park and have a yarn with him. Ollie and his family came into the park today to see how the program works and all the effort that's involved with the antivenom that saved his life. How does it actually feel being around the funnel webs now, right? <laughs> Also <laughs> Thankfully, uh, since the production of antivenom, there has been a single human fatality. I woke up, it, my arm was on a burning pain throughout my arm. We didn't really know what to do, but then we pulled the, the sheets back and the spider was just crawling around. It's been raining that day yeah. and I've moved all my washing under cover and folded the washing up and put it on his bed and the hospital think it came from the washing. That was their yeah. best guess, that I brought it in in the folded washing. Yeah. And the symptoms kind of started showing as we try to decide what to do. Like I started shaking, sweating a lot. And that's kind of when we decided like, yeah, we need to, we need to go to the hospital. And we look for bandages, <laughs> which of course we didn't have. First thing it said, I oh, put a nice pack on and monitor the symptoms. Like, see, don't panic, you'll be okay. And then we scroll to the next one. If it's a big black spider called Nambidus, and we're like, <laughs> just because we weren't quite sure and then we saw the video and we're like, oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. oh well, we rush in they ask us what happened i said oh i think i've been bitten by a spider the sweaty and shaking were my first like main symptoms where we're like oh this isn't good definitely the lightheadedness on the way to the hospital very nauseous headache salivating i thought i was having a panic attack at home because i was just like oh my god what's happening but it turns out that was just one of the symptoms ollie was extremely lucky even though they didn't apply a pressure bandage he was only 15 minutes from the hospital so they got there super fast and actually when you walked in you saw how many nurses and doctors yep. were stood around you're like this is really serious this isn't just one doctor they were all there when they called for the the Catlin resource. They said resource, and my head was like, "Oh my god! Like this is this is really serious now." And I was in the waiting room, and I heard that, and I was like, "I spoke to his girlfriend and said, I really hope that's not wrong." Which it was. That was probably the scariest part. Rita, they have to throw down. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so I had two vials of anti venom. The anti venom just like, oh, it's so much better. I don't know how long it took, but it was very fast acting. Like, but it was probably like half an hour. My headache was gone, my nausea was gone, my lightheadedness was gone. But so your heart rate slowed down a bit better as well. Yeah, it was good. Three days as I was in hospital, mainly just because of the the heart scare. They did a lot of heart scans to make sure there's no like actual damage to the heart as well. Yeah, a couple of little droplets in there is unbelievably dangerous but so important when it comes to the production of antivenom. The panic call came in after when you realized how serious it actually was and what could have happened if we'd have been 10 15 minutes later. So that's when as a parent you really start to go wow that was really close. We've been here before we knew you had the milking program and realized probably the odds on it was you guys that actually they did the milking for the antivenom. I just wanted to reach out and to say thank you, but also all the work that you guys do, like the amount of work you put in, but not actually even get to see the person you've saved. I'd thought it'd just be really nice to reach out, say a big thank you, actually let you know you have saved an individual's life. Ollie's story is a reminder of just how serious a funnel web spider bite can be. And it's really important that you brush up on your first aid to know what to do in that situation. Well, we've got one of the benches with the squares on, so you know you have to put it in the right compression. When we were waiting for hours on end in the ER, is it's actually the, the compression you need. It's the same methodology used as a snake bite for a funnel web. That was really interesting to read whilst he was on a hospital bed, but yeah, best advice if everyone at home, just make sure you got the bandage, make sure you know the, I guess, correct procedures to take. Just a big thank you to Australian Reptile Park for all the work they've done. Um, just good to know that uh, the amazing way they do save lives. Our team here at the Australian Reptile Park puts in a huge effort every single day to ensure we produce enough raw venom to be used for life-saving antivenom. 
So for the team here to meet someone like Ollie, whose life was saved due to the Venom program, it's extremely rewarding and it motivates us to keep doing what we're doing.